Hello and welcome to TRG Classify, the very first online tool that will allow you, the importer of record, to classify your goods in just a few easy steps entirely online. Let's get started. We're going to start off with a few easy items and then a few more complicated items just to show you some different industry groups. First, I'm going to be bringing in some golf balls from China. So I type in a general description of ball. Then it goes through the general rules of interpretation in the tariff code system to ask me questions about the descriptors necessary to classify our goods. So the next question is, tell me more about the ball. Is it a festive article? Is it a manufactured good sports equipment? That looks pretty good so far. Or is the ball a part of something else? Camera, testing equipment, machinery, a manufactured article? I'm going with sports equipment. And once I click on that, the final question is to tell me a little bit more about the end use. I can see golf right there. And when I click that, it takes me to Chapter 95 and my six-digit designation. But I need that 10-digit designation to bring it into the United States. I click Get Tariff Code, and it takes me right through, gives me my 10-digit code, but also allows me to view my unit of measure and the duty rate that will be charged to bring that good in. Good news here, my golf balls are duty-free. Now let's look at a wooden teak chair for household use. First, I type in the word chair. The system now asks me, tell us more about the frame. Cane, metal, wood, other. Well, it's an all wood chair, so I click on wood. Now it asks about the finishing. Is this chair upholstered or other? Well, it's not upholstered, so we click on other. Now we've provided enough descriptors to get us to Chapter 94 and our six-digit international designation. To finish up, we click Get Tariff Code, and it gives us a couple of options to finalize our 10-digit number. I can see now Chairs of Teak, Household, there's my 10-digit designation. My goods are going to be measured in numbers of items, and again, they're duty-free. Not bad. Now let's take a look at something a little bit more difficult in the textiles arena. I'd like to bring in a girl's sweater. So I type in sweater. The system next asks me about the construction of that sweater. Is it knitted, crocheted, or other? Well, this happens to be knitted or crocheted. Now it asks me about the gender of the sweater. I see babies first, but I'm not sure what the legal definition for babies is. So I put my cursor over the little blue box, and I get the legal definition for what a baby's garment is for purposes of classification. I can see it's young children of body height not exceeding 86 centimeters. Since I think in terms of inches, my baby can't be taller than 34 inches. That's not going to work here. So I'm bringing in a girl's sweater, so I click Other. Now the system asks me about the content. Well, this is a 75% wool sweater and 25% acrylic. So I click on 75 for wool and 25 for man-made fiber. A quick check lets me know I've added up to 100. I click Accept. And it now further asks me about the wool content of the sweater. And in this case, the 75% portion of my sweater that is wool has 50 in wool, and 25 in cashmere. Once I type that in and click Accept, I've now given enough information to get me once again to that six-digit international designation. Another quick click on Get Tariff Code, and I'm provided with my final options to classify my girl's sweater. I can see sweaters, girls, section 446, these units are measured in dozens, but also weighted in kilograms. When I bring entry in, I'll also be paying a 16% duty on these items. A little bit more difficult for textiles, but not too bad. So once again, getting back to the fact that who knows your business better than you, you've got these goods available to be able to look at and research as you go through the classification process and bring this in-house. Now what about something in the automotive area? 
We've got a lot of companies out there bringing tires in from China. So I'm going to bring in some light truck tires for road use. So I type in rubber tires. The system now asks me, what about the condition? Are they new or are they retreaded? Well, these are new tires. Now, what about the end use? Aircraft, bike, bus, or truck? Well, bus or truck is what we're looking for here. I now have enough information to get me to the proper six-digit code in Chapter 40, and a quick click on Get Tariff Code provides me with my final options as to whether or not they're radial tires or other. Well, these happen to be radial tires for a light truck. There's my 10-digit designation measured in numbers of units, and I'll be paying a 4% duty to bring those in. Now, from time to time, we all need a car jack. What about the importation of a car jack into the United States? So I type in jack. You can see we need to know some more information about that jack. Is it a plug or socket, or is it lifting or handling equipment? I know it's on a jackfish, so I'm going for lifting and handling equipment. Now, what about the model? Is it built-in or is it other? Well, this isn't built-in, so I click in other. And it is, in fact, a hydraulic jack. So I click on hydraulic, and I've now given enough information to get me to Chapter 84, my six-digit designation, and a quick click on Get Tariff Code, and I now get my 10-digit designation measured in units and duty-free. So those are a couple of quick examples of how TRG Classify can help you bring the classification process in-house in a very time-efficient and cost-effective manner. A couple of different reasons you might be looking at bringing that classification process in-house. One, of course, is to classify your goods on a forward basis. That's pretty easy. I think we've shown you here, if you've got the correct descriptors, you're going to be able to get that done pretty quickly. But what you can also use TRG Classify to do is to go back and revalidate those products that you've already classified but aren't quite sure if you did the right coding. So whether or not you're validating or revalidating, TRG Classify is a great tool to help you bring that process in-house.